Happy Sunday to you, and I'm really excited to come your way again. Welcome to Open Heavens Daily Devotional Review. Today, by the grace of God, we are going to continue the series we started on what is God's temple. Our Father and the Lord has done justice from the one, teaching us uh, you know, on a daily basis what the temple of God is. Many of us, we only have the knowledge of the temple of God is our body. But beyond that, God has helped our Father and the Lord to open our eyes to many more things that are God's temple. And today, we are going to deep dive into the part five of what the temple of God is. Before we go ahead, let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word. Thank you for opening our eyes and understanding to see. And we pray that this word will benefit us in the name of Jesus. You help us to, uh, to know more of you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Redeemer, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Our text today is taken from the book of Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15 to 16. And our uh, memory verse is taken from the book of that same book of Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. And the Bible says, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. A place called the throne of grace is the presence of God. So the temple of God that we are looking at today is that it can also be the throne of grace, where grace and mercy is obtained. In the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 that we read, clearly told us that the throne of grace is a place where we can obtain mercy, is a place we can obtain grace from the Lord. You know, today our eyes is opened by the grace of God from the text of 2 Corinthians chapter uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 that says that the grace of God is sufficient for you. The grace of God is sufficient for me. I want you to know that truth of the word of God because many times we are running after things that are not sufficient for us. We are running after things that cannot satisfy us. But the, in the presence of God, in the temple of God, you can find grace. Grace can be obtained. The one that will be sufficient for you for the rest of your life. And that's why I want to encourage you that instead of you trying to run away from the presence of God, this is the time to run to Him. Have you wondered why the unbelievers, those occultic people, run to their shrine? They believe so much and they go there regularly. They don't run away because they know it's a place of power where they can be strengthened. That's why that is the devil that is giving them such a power which will not last. Then you begin to wonder when believers have done one atrocity or the other. Yes, truly you feel dirty when you come into church. But do you know that is the place you can get helped? That's the place where God can help you. That's the place where you can obtain mercy. So instead of you running away from church where you have committed sin, I would rather say stay in his presence. Ask for mercy. Ask the Lord to forgive you. Ask the Lord to restore you because that's where you can obtain mercy and grace. Don't let the devil deceive you that you don't need to go there. That's the first place you need to go to. Because that's where you can also obtain grace and, and mercy. So stay there until you receive it. And listen to me, brother. You can't come into God's presence with sin and be pretending as if nothing has happened. Even if you are the preacher, if you are the pastor, you must see God's face. You must ask God to help you and wash you clean. Because why? The Bible says that sinners will not obtain anything from God except that sinner has been wiped clean and restored to God. So that's where we need to be. We must seek God. We must seek God. That temple of God is a place of grace and what? And mercy. He said that in Luke chapter 18, verse 10 to 14. Luke chapter 18, verse 10 to 14. Don't be like the Pharisees, full of sin, but yet pretending in the presence of people. Same with the publicans. You know, when they said, oh, we fast every now and then, our case is different. Don't be like that. Make sure you go before the Lord and you don't hide anything before the Lord because you submit to the Lordship of God. You want the Lord to help you, so you must cry out loud. Like that man who went on the tree and said, God, Jesus, have mercy on me, have mercy on me. He didn't keep quiet until God, until he got God's attention. So I want to encourage you, you must come to his presence so that you can obtain mercy and grace. The devil knows that when you always assess mercy, when you come into the presence of God, your problem will be over. So he will ensure that he keeps discouraging you. I have come today to encourage you. 
Don't run away from God's presence. Don't run away from God's temple because that is where you can obtain all that you require to live life as a believer. Our key point today says that go to the house of God in humility so you can receive grace and mercy from the throne of grace. And I want to pray for you as you are taking that decision today. Even before you get into that temple, I want to pray with you. Maybe you are trusting God that you have done something in the past that is standing in your way and you need God to help you. Can I pray with you today that as you determine to forsake your old ways and decide to come to Jesus, the Lord will accept you in the mighty name of Jesus. As you decide to become a child of God, the Lord will receive you in the mighty name of Jesus. So I want you to go forth and go into the presence of God. Find the redeemed Christian church of God closer to you. Ask the pastor, you have just given your life to Christ. You've just taken a new turn. You've taken a new decision to come under the management of God and he will tell you the next things you need to do. And the Lord will bless you as you do so in the mighty name of Jesus. Bye for now.